In this video, we will learn how to reduce Discord's RAM usage. First, make sure you have stock Discord without any modification, plugins, or themes installed. You can download Discord from Microsoft Store or official site. Now let's see how much RAM our stock Discord is using. It's around 400 MB. So first, we will do some basic tweak as simple as changing Discord settings, so follow along. First go to User Settings and scroll down. Game Overlay is optional if you use it, but disabling it lowers background usage. Disabling hardware acceleration restricts Discord from using GPU, which is beneficial for gaming. Turn this off so Discord won't boot up every time with Windows. This is also optional if you use this. If you don't want Discord notifications, you can turn this off. If you use push to talk, you can turn this off to avoid hearing this sound every time you press PTT key. I recommend using push to talk as it lowers CPU usage. This is also optional if you want open mic. Crisp is fantastic noise suppression, but it comes with CPU usage. Even Discord's standard noise suppression works pretty good if you're not in loud environment. This disables data collection, relieving a bit bandwidth. In this video, we will also show how to block Discord trackers. After changing settings, we will restart Discord and open Task Manager to check RAM usage. Discord RAM usage has dropped quite a bit, but we are not done yet. Now we will make changes in Discord file. Although this is against Discord Terms of Service, but it's much safer than using custom modified Discord client. This is an open source project which replaces app.assr file of Discord with custom file designed to make Discord more snappier and block most Discord trackers. Now let's see what file will be replaced. In search type percentage, local app data percentage backwards slash discord. Now this file will be automatically backup and replaced with modified app.azar file designed to increase Discord performance and disable Discord tracking. Download the file, it may be flagged as unsafe. Click on drop down arrow and keep anyway button. Further in the video, we will show what this script does and explore the code using AI and also scan the file with 70 plus antivirus. Before running the script, make sure Discord is closed from system tray. In this screen, you can select performance mode and disable tracking and restart 
Discord. We will not be using experimental feature, but you can try it out. After restarting Discord, go to User Settings, and here you will see new option named OpenSR. Here you can change OpenSR settings. Now let's check RAM usage after this tweak. Here we can see that foreground RAM usage dropped significantly. Although combined usage remains that same, but you will notice fast performance while switching from server to server. Now let's in depth analyze the code of the script using Code Insight AI and scan it using 70 plus antivirus. You can skip ahead for the final tweak if you want. Putting the script in virus total reveals the purpose of the script along with scan results. These two detections are false positive as many big antivirus companies are showing result as clean file. Also we can see what script does. It closes running Discord and downloads app, ASR file from the GitHub repository we showed earlier and replaces it with Discord app, ASR file while making backup of the original file. Now for the final tweak, we will be using this software, which doesn't change any Discord files, so it's completely safe, as it will only remove cache from RAM, so Discord idle state will use less RAM. Now, we will see real-time result. What happens to Discord process when we press middle mouse button on Memreduct Sistre icon? As you can see that Discord RAM usage dropped down significantly. It will stay like this until you start navigating Discord again and cache will build up again. But for me, it didn't exceed 200 MB. And yes, in idle low RAM state, Discord will work as usual. Now to revert the file modification we did, Follow the steps. In user settings, we can see OpenSR option. This means OpenSR is installed, so we will close Discord and replace that app SR file with original app, SR file backup. We go again to percentage local app data, percentage backward slash Discord folder, and delete the app SR file and rename the original app. SR file, just by removing the word backup.
Now we open Discord again to check if Discord has reverted back to original or not. We can see OpenSR option is removed, hence Discord is reverted back to stock. I know this video was bit lengthy, but we went through in-depth changes and real-time results. Leave a like if it helps. Thank you.